Kia ora, good afternoon and hello everybody in my physics classes. Today is Monday the 4th of May, May the 4th, and uh, therefore happy International Star Wars Day. Um, I hope you may the 4th be with you today and forever. Cool. Um, I want to do two videos today. First one, video A, video B, based upon the same PowerPoint here. I want to give you some help getting through page 16 of the workbook. Uh, it's got some useful information, but it's actually quite daunting to look at the first time. So let's... Um, move along. Uh, the second video I want to look at is uh, give you a handle with page 18, question 4, because that, that's part of the new homework I'm going to set. Um, the new homework will be pages 17 to 21, and that will be due on Tuesday the 12th of May, so it's only one day after the last one. Okay, um, homework marking, again, it's marked at a 5, um, so self-market mark it yourself on the answers in the back of the book, please. Um, draw sketches and work down the page if you've got a bit of space for that. On page 16, there's this picture here. And uh, it's quite uh, daunting when you first look at it. This whole thing here is an interference pattern. It's caused by two waves, one called S1, one called S2, and I think that's probably a source. And these two waves happen in phase. They're happening at the same time. They're not out of, not out of sync, they're in phase, in sync. And therefore, they make wave fronts that come away in circles, starting at the same time. Um, and this, as the troughs and crests move away from the sources, the troughs are the gaps and the crests are the peaks, I'm going to guess, um, a continuous series of points appear, um, forming areas of no disturbance. In other words, there's places where the, where the water, or the water or whatever stays calm all the time. These are called node lines, because if you'll forgive the terrible pun, node very much happens there, uh, node lines. And they are um, where the one, the two, and the three are. So there's one nodal line through here to be a calm spot on the water, another calm spot here, and another calm spot here. And it's symmetrical, so there'll be one on this side as well. Um, the light solid lines mark nodal lines, that's, that's um, where it's calm, and antinodal lines are where it's rough, where the waves add up. Um, the dark solid lines mark the wave crests. Cool. Let's move along a little bit. Um, I've taken this bit here and copied and pasted it separately. Point A is on a nodal line, the first node. Node means node very much is happening. Um, and therefore, the path difference between lines from the two waves, now let's count them from here, S1, 1, 2, 3, 4, and a half. Cool, 4 and a half. From S2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The difference is 1 half, 4 and a half and 5, half a wave. That means they are out of sync. And with superposition, those two waves will cancel and make a calm spot. That's how that works. And the same is true all the way along that line. And by symmetry, that one as well. Um, in general, the path difference between path difference. Now, if you include the word path difference in your exam answers, you're generally going to get at least an achieve because the examiners look for those two words. Um, in a past life, I've been an examiner and I have looked for those words and that's often what the uh, marking schedule has. Path difference, the difference in the paths. If it's half or one and a half, two and a half, or three and a half wavelengths, they'll arrive out of sync and it'll be calm, a destructive interference. So, some buzzwords calm, destructive interference, um, node. These things all mean a flat spot. So, it's going to be uh, n minus a half. So, put an n as one, one minus a half is a half, two minus a half is one and a half, three minus a half is two and a half or half three halves five halves seven halves any odd number of halves of wavelength cool moving along uh, any point q i don't can't see a q on the um nth antinodal line and so there's an antinodal means is where it's not calm um so therefore that's going to be along here or along here or along here and symmetry 
The path difference will be a whole number of wavelengths. If they started in sync, even if one has done a couple more wavelengths before it's arrived to where you're looking at, they'll be in sync. And the waves will build up constructively interfere. Um, they will um, add up together. So it's going to be uh, there's no path difference or one wavelength path difference, path difference or two wavelengths pass path difference. It's really hard. They number a wee bit differently because there's a central number uh, of zero. So there's no difference. One wavelength, two wavelengths, three wavelengths. And that's kind of useful. If we move along the, the line the parallel to the two sources, so there's the two sources, and we'll move along parallel, we're going to get, um, we're going to get calm, rough, calm, rough, calm, rough, calm, rough, calm, rough, calm, as you've seen in the other ones. If it's sound, it'll be quiet, loud, quiet, loud. If it's uh, light, it'll be dark, bright, dark, bright. And I think that's probably a good place to leave that video. I'll make another one shortly. Hope this has been useful, fellas.